Good morning everyone. Today's topic is relationship between AC, AFC, AVC and MC. In the previous lecture, we studied about the relationship between average cost curve, average fixed cost and average variable cost. So today we are going to include marginal cost curve also. Okay. So first we will start with the relationship between AC, AFC and AVC. So the first point is AC curve, AC curve and AVC curve. Both are U-shaped curve. Why? Because of the law of variable proportion. So this is the first point. Second point is that AFC falls. Why it falls? Because as the production increases, AFC falls, but it never touches both the axes. Okay. Neither Y-axis nor X-axis. Okay. So AFC is positive. Next point is that AC and AVC curve. This is AC curve. And this is AVC curve. Both can come closer to each other. So if I extend this line to upwards, if you see the gap between these two curves, see the gap between these two curves from here. In the beginning, it was this much, then this much, now this much. The gap is less. So the gap between these two cur uh, curves are decreasing. Okay, but they will never intersect. Okay. So, AC and AVC come closer to each other, but they never intersect. Why? Because of AFC curve. Okay. Now, another point is under the relationship between AC, AVC and AFC is that the minimum point of AVC, that is point A. Okay. The minimum point of AVC, that is point A, is on the left hand side of the minimum point of AC. So, point F is the minimum point of AC curve. And point A is the minimum point of AVC. So point A is on the left hand side of the minimum point of AC. Or else you can say that minimum point of AVC that is point A. Okay. Or the minimum point of AC that is point F is on the right hand side of AVC's minimum point that is point A. Okay. Now after this there is now there is an entry of MC curve. Okay, how it is going to affect and how it is related to AC curve and ABC curve. So MC curve, if you see, this is also U-shaped curve. MC curve is also U-shaped curve. Why? Because of the law of variable proportions. Now MC is a U-shaped curve which cuts or intersect AC, which cuts or intersect AC and AVC at their minimum points. So point A is the minimum point of AVC and point F is the minimum point of AC. So here MC is intersecting both the curve AC and AVC at their minimum points. Okay. So MC's minimum point is point C. MC first falls, reaches its minimum point that is point C, then it started rising. So when it started rising, it intersect AVC at the minimum point and AC at the minimum point. Okay. Next is when AC falls and AVC also falls. When AC falls and AVC also falls, MC is, this is MC. MC is less than the AC curve and AVC. See this. This is AC, AVC curve and this is AC curve. So MC here is less than both these curve. It is below the AC and AVC curve. Similarly, when MC rises, Okay, at that time when MC rises, AC and AVC curves, both these curves, AC and AVC curves are below the MC curve. So here MC is greater than AC and AVC. Look at this. Here MC is, MC is greater than AC and AVC. Okay, so that is the relationship between AC, AFC, AVC and MC. That's all for the day. Thank you.